Good morning. Pretty sure I have an hour left before I can go anywhere. What does that say? Nine hours and four minutes. And I told my buddy over here that I would be ready for him if he needed me to back up, but it looks like he's still sleeping. That's fine. I do need to take a shower today. That has got to be a top priority. Also, I want to stop at a Walmart. I want to get my truck washed. I'm on a tight schedule. Have you heard enough of my whining or would you like me to continue? My watch says it's only 40 degrees out there. It's basically summertime. I hit four bugs yesterday. Let's go. Hey Jojo, wherever you're at. Okay, I think we're ready to get on with the day. I <laughs> got my hoodie wet. <laughs> My neighbor's awake, so that's good, because I'm probably going to need his space so I can swing out of here when it's my time in one half of an hour. Check the lights while we're out here. Bless you. Okay, if everybody could just relax while uh, I try to recruit Elliot here. He sent a message asking about COTC. He's interested. Elliot, you want to know about this company? I'll tell you what right now. It's fine. Like, I've worked here three different times. And if it was that bad of a place, do you think I'd keep coming back? No, I would not. Because I'm a strong, independent woman. For real, for real, it's a great place to work. You should definitely come work here and we can be bros. Why'd I say bros like that? <laughs> You also want a bottle flip for Cashton and I knew I should have done the grandkids first. Cashton and I'll be right back. Cashton and Paxson is exactly where I was going with this. So I hope all of you guys are having a great day. Thanks for watching these videos, dude. I like I'm a big fan of Montana, so I'm also kind of jealous that you get to live there. Until you become part of the team. Are you ready to go trucking? Let's go. All right, we're gonna sneak out around all these sleepy heads. Get out of here.
I just want you guys to know how hard that was for me to ignore McDonald's. Turn left at the stop sign, then take the second right. Okay. Who's in charge here? That would be not me. Oh man, they had buy one, get one sausage biscuit for a dollar? Dang it. Turn right on I-80 West. I'm going back. There's a supply chain crisis, we gotta go. Shout out Creighton Blue Jays last night. They beat the number one ranked Yukon Huskies. I think that's college basketball. I could have played college basketball. I'm a natural athlete, obviously. But there's a supply chain crisis. Sometime I would love to come to Omaha for the college baseball world series. The accident is gone already? Nice. Seems like this is the only place I get my truck washed at. Sweet parking lot. Hopefully there's not a massive line. Ugh, poopy. Hopefully this massive line doesn't take long to go through. York, Nebraska. Truck wash time. Are you okay with that, Francisco? Good. What is rattling? It's 9.36 a.m. a.k.a. breakfast time. It is, uh... <laughs> Please update your records. I know that yesterday I told you guys I had to run on like a super tight schedule and I didn't have any time to stop and whatever is rattling is gonna drive me absolutely bonkers. And what it comes down to is that I am a liar and if I don't get this truck washed today, it will never get washed ever again. Oh, what is this? We have movement. Yas Queen. Excuse me, Mr. Sims Transport, we have movement. Please move. Please move. Okay, thank you. I just rolled my window. Whoa, look at me in the eyes. The rattling is noisier when I rolled my window down, which is crazy that I could roll my window down in Nebraska in February. Now I'm gonna roll the window up and see if I can still hear it. 
I cannot. I can. I cannot. What kind of brain-eating bacteria do you think I have? All of it? I don't know if you can tell, but we're next. No, I mean, it's kind of, it's getting ridiculous. It's nice. It's not nice? I don't like it. Is it too big? Because it's not windy. This is my boy, Caden. Hello. I knew YouTube's now. I know. Oh, you know, okay. Yeah, I know. We're back. Uh, I just want a classic truck and trailer. Field rep, is that a big deal? Oh, uh, does that make everything worse? Yeah. Is he in the office? No, uh, he's in there. Oh. Uh, Making sure you guys are yelling loud enough and everything. That's Caden. Right after I first started doing TikToks every day, I came here and got my truck washed and he, he's like, I watch your videos. And I'm like, whoa. He's like one of the first ones to recognize me. It's pretty cool. He had a pretty gnarly mullet. Now he's got long Jesse Barrymore hair. I made a TikTok yesterday where I said I did the mud flat by myself and I got called out for because people were like, nah, -uh, Leah helped you. And then I forgot that people on TikTok watch my YouTube videos. So don't worry, I'll never back down because I'm a middle child. Dude, Caden is so good at that. Watch, he's gonna tell me to stop now. Do the thing. Nice. Take it easy. Have fun, be safe. I'll miss you. All right, let's see what's going on on the big roads. We were there for an hour and 13 minutes. Not bad for as long as that line was. Ignore what I'm listening to, especially if you have any contact with Steven. I don't want him to come after me again. out people in Nebraska don't know how to operate a four-way stop when the traffic signal is not working what's going on there that seems like a misappropriation of funds I don't know what that means but I just wanted to sound very educated. How'd I do? Oh man, what is this? Is this 
Is this some kind of prank? Is this a sick joke? This is not good. This looks exactly like a flatbedder in reverse. That is very dangerous. We need to call somebody. Call the Turkish Prime Minister. Call the guy whose reefer I'm about to run into. Call Paula Abdul. See if opposites are trash. This guy is not very good at this. Why would he even attempt such a dangerous maneuver in this economy? I can't believe my own two eyes. He's very persistent. There's another flatbedder that appears to have already been in reverse. It's an epidemic around here. Oh man, you really suck at this, boy. You're embarrassing yourself. One more time for good measure, that ought to do it. Maybe if the earth wasn't so round, you'd be a lot better at this. Oh, it was the noise distracting you? Sure, buddy. Took you long enough. North Platte, Nebraska. And while yes, I am here for fuel time, how's my hair? Uh, I'm gonna take a shower first because there are five available and I don't want to waste any more precious time or resources, okay? Which means I gotta stop talking and get into the shower. Dude, it is 65 degrees here. Is that right? 62 according to my watch. Nice. So first of all, everything fell down. One day I'm gonna use these. They were sent to me as a gift. I wish I could remember who sent them, but they're gonna come in handy, probably during the apocalypse. But until then, I will keep picking them up off the floor after they fall out of the cubby. All right, I need a shower bag. I have a shower bag. Oh, there's one dirty sock in there. I'm really good at this. Okay, what do I need? Underwear. Okay, where are my underwear? Where'd you guys put it? Do I have any left? Oh yeah, dude, I got a fresh unopened Costco pack. Dude, I forgot about the Valentine's Day baseball chocolate. Jeez, get wrecked, dementia. Am I really almost out of underwear? This is not good. Oh, let's go, we're back. Clean undies. This one will do, and I'm going to wear the same pants. Are you enjoying the play-by-play -play whilst I pack? What do I need to know? I got a shirt. Oh, socks. Stockings, if you will. I don't need my all-weather ones because it's 60-something degrees out here. And last but not least. Oh, wait, no. Second to last but not least. Where is... Where is my little baggy thingy? What do you call it? A ditty bag? Oh, don't worry, I'm soups organized. It's gotta be underneath the coffee and the mirror and the toilet paper back here somewhere. Guess not. What heck is it? All right. Calling in the big guns. Where in tarnation? Do you know why I pulled you over today? Did I leave it at the travel stop yesterday? No way. Did I? Taking it into the travel stop in Ohio was the last place I remember it. Did I just chuck it back up in here? Down here? Okay, low key panic attack. Did I really lose it? Ugh, important updates, I found it. Uh, it's where I always keep it now with my piss jugs. So that's, just remind me next time. Oh, I'm blinding myself. All right, now we can go take a shower. I wonder if there's still no line. In conclusion, I'm really good at this. What's this guy think he's doing? Cutting her a little closer, buddy. Yeah, why don't you go ahead and do that? And then leave. Okay, I have an attitude problem now. You guys get really mad at the flat bills. Oh, I haven't worn this one in a while. Okay, I'll wear this one. Nice.
Okay, you guys are not gonna believe what I bought in there. It was not Coke Zero. Claims to be a gallon of purified, shut up, drinking water. It's also way too hot for a hoodie. Okay, I gotta pull around to get fuel now. These guys that park over here on this curb screw everything up, man. There's like no reason for it. This is neat. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do is just get back on the route, call the office and tell them I need a new fuel stop. This one is not gonna work. Oh wait. Calling you a beautiful while or are you gonna let us out? Yeah, sorry, I was the one that designed this fuel station. Stop. I tried try to get one Continue here on. at North Plant, but the fuel island is an absolute disaster. Oh, you guys want to see me parallel park this thing? Okay. Parallel parking, you are a flat bidder. You might as well parallel park that thing off a cliff. Have you gone completely insane? Do you need medication and a psychiatrist? Oh, by God, he did it. Oh man, I'm really good at this. All right, so I don't know if you could tell, but when I got to that loves, the fuel island was fine. After I took my shower, the fuel island was fucked. Guy was yelling at me on the CB and everything. I need to pull over here to this rest area in, hey Siri, where am I? Sutherland, Nebraska. Sutherland, Nebraska, that is correct. I made it a whopping, what's happening? I made it a whopping 11 miles. I'm in Sutherland and I need to get my life together. Sheesh. I did call in to get a new fuel stop. But Tom said they're redoing the fuel and routing. So just get fuel wherever the heck I want, as long as it's a loves. So my next stop, hopefully my next stop will be at a loves. Oh, come on. Oh, nothing wants to work for me now? Oh, we're back. What else did I stop for? Oh, to fill my water. Jeez. This jug was $3.69. I'm pretty sure at Safeway or whatever, it's like $1.50. What am I complaining about this time? Inflation? Don't you know I'm moving America? Well, not now. I'm not even moving Sutherland, Nebraska. But, oh geez. Why do they make the spout so tiny? Okay. You hear that? My cup runneth over now. Oh, important diet updates. I already took care of two steak, egg, and cheese burritos out of the hot case. So I got that going for me. Twisty the lid back on. The best part of this cup is the giant straw. It's like drinking out of a hose. And also I don't have to divert my eyeballs from the phone when I'm drunk, just kidding. It's a joke. If anybody in the office watches this, which you don't, because I've already would have been in trouble a long time ago. Just ignore that part. Let's continue now. There's, we're wasting way too much time. I told you guys, important deadline. Friday morning, have to be there. You guys are just lollygagging. You lollygag in the truck stop. You lollygag outside the truck stop. What's that make them? Lollygaggers. Do you guys know what movie that's from? If you don't, unfollow me, unsubscribe, block yourself. Don't do any of that, I love you guys. Okay, this is me leaving now.
Colorado now. Fix that. Like, who, who are other people to This white pickup truck passed me, looked up in here, and now they're slowing down. What's happening? Is this a setup? I watch a lot of Dateline. They're gonna have to slow down way more. I can only do 65. Oh, now they're taking off again. Infrastructure, seven minute backup. I am in heaven. That's Denver over there, home of the Colorado Avalanche. Remember last year when the Seattle Kraken beat the Colorado Avalanche in the playoffs? Pepperidge Farm remembers. Dumont, Colorado. Look how many miles you guys did. Nice. So, one time I accidentally found this dirt lot across from the Sinclair gas station. Uh, right before this way station up here. That happens to be open, but doggone it, I'm out of time. Look, how much time do I have left? Driving left, 21 minutes. And I can't make it any farther, so I can't go into the way station yet. I don't want to be in violation. Maybe they'll be open in the morning when I leave. <laughs> Doubt it. I don't think I'm breaking the law. I'm stopping here. Like, if this was the NFL, I haven't made it past the line of scrimmage or the first down marker or anything. I'm like, this poor guy, he's got to go in there. <sighs> but anyways... What time is it? So I will be starting at 4.30 a.m. And again, we'll try to get as far as I can. I, I actually lost time today because of the truck wash and the, what else did I do? Shower. Because of all the washing and cleaning, I lost, I lost time so I'm still on pace to get there before the window they gave me so that's good I got a little buffer tomorrow and Friday I'm gonna close up shop here and freaking who cares right all right now I'm going to edit these last two days worth of videos so if I forget to tell you guys good night because I'm really good at this good night thanks for watching you guys mean the world to me and I'm not just saying that Look into my eyes. I think I hurt myself. Catch you next time.